hand arm signals, trying to stay down, silent as you can. Yes, yeah, so you're just version. It, it flexes between. First fire team, we move left over we this way. So that way, yeah, that way, second fire team doesn't just go right here. And Being a, in the student status, you're getting all these things thrown at you all at once. They're definitely challenged uh, mentally, physically, uh, emotionally. Sometimes, um, you know, every, everybody has their strong and their weak points, and they're definitely. They, they definitely find the breaking point. While you're traveling, just maintain a visual on them. If you guys use your map prior to setting out, then you're going to be able to, hey, this is rally point one, this is where we're going to link up at. Just knowing that you, how much of an effect that you have on the Marines that you teach, knowing that what they can take from that and how it affects them and how they can take that and spread it to, to the other Marines around. Their physical ability is absolutely enhanced. Um, their overall confidence with them being a, a corporal and non-commissioned officer, um, being able to go back to their, their units and implementing everything that they learned here, uh, it's, it's a huge, huge deal. It seems like no matter where I go, I see them like every day, no matter where. You know, on the weekends out in town or just on base, just meet them, see them at the PX or driving by or a plethora of knowledge that comes out here, you know, equipping the, the corporals with a lot more than what they came to us with. Big. You know, just to see the amount of influence Myself and the other instructors have had on um, MCOs and the MLG from the time that we've been here. It's just, it's amazing. We gotta get caught up with the rest of our Marines. To make Marines better. Go get a head count. Who's up? 